My name is Steve Allen. I'm the Defence and Security Advisor here in Leonardo Helicopters in Yeovil and I'm in that role based on my previous career of 35 years in the Royal Navy. The AW Hero unmanned air system is a Leonardo product, a 200 kilogram class unmanned air system. It's designed to deliver multiple mission sets with multiple payloads in multiple environments. We're here in the engineering simulator in the Yeovil Leonardo site, which has allowed us to bring together both the AW Hero hardware and software, along with other synthetic components, including the BAE systems command management system, which is a replication of what would occur on UK warships, and enables us to test the whole system in a controlled environment. The simple scenario is twofold. One, we've got to escort a vessel through a choke point where there is a threat of attack from enemy forces. And we're also on the lookout for illegal migration of individuals from one country to another. The AW Hero is, is blessed that you can have different sensor combinations. In this particular case, it has three sensors on board. The AIS, the Automatic Identification System, the radar itself has various modes and can obviously detect the surface contacts and look well over the visual horizon. And then the electro-optical device is a mixture of visual and infrared sensors to give the best possible range of sensitivity to detect and identify contacts. What makes this situation slightly different to some competitors is the ability of the AW Hero product to be put straight into the command system. That means the information is already being fed not only around the ship itself, but it means that information can be passed to other ships in the task force and back to headquarters ashore or in the home country. It means that decision making can be a lot quicker. It means that the senior officers or the politicians that are burdened with the responsibility for making serious decisions such as engagements are in a position to do so while seeing the raw product from the AW Hero. This was a really useful demonstration of what we can do today and what is just over the horizon in terms of unmanned air systems. We've seen the AW Hero flying, we've seen some of its capabilities, and those capabilities will increase. But at the same time, there's an awful lot of work going on on other unmanned air systems, both fixed wing and rotary wing within the Leonardo stable. And indeed, the rotary wing unmanned air system, the RUAS project, is well underway and is set to be the next generation of capability for navies around the world.